How's it going everyone? Equinox Phoenix here and today we are gonna talk about Batwoman Season 3 Episode 5 titled A Lesson from Professor Pig. Um, this episode is a bit of a weird one. Um, so Ryan has been invited to a dinner party with Jada uh, and, and everyone's kind of upset at Jada. Well, everyone, but seemingly Ryan, uh, because Jada has screwed over Wayne. Um, they're like, like what the fuck? Um, and so she goes to the dinner party, takes Sophie with her. Uh, before that though, uh, Sophie and uh, and Beth. I'm I'm just gonna stick with calling her Beth. It's just nice. Uh. Well, technically, I should call Alice until she becomes Beth again. Anyway, so Sophie and Alice um, are having a movie night. And Alice is just like, <laughs> like, you know, the like scary thing. Like, I'm covering my eye. I, I, obviously, I can't do it fully because glasses. But uh, essentially this kind of thing um, where she's like covering like her face except like sp just one eye on the, on the thing. So, um. And, uh, so, and then they hear a noise in the ba uh, on the balcony. So they both grab bo empty bottles and, uh, a, like a mini argument between Sophie and Alice ensues. And then they're like, just open the door. And they open the door and they see it's, uh, it's Batwoman. So Batwoman's like, yeah, uh, we got a case. Uh, apparently there's a guy tied up with whips, uh, like this. It's, 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 it's really weird looking. Anyway. So, um, Batwoman has, uh, a dinner with mother. With the mother unit. Um, and Alice has an interesting conversation. Renee. Now that conversation leads to us finding out that Renee Montoya and Pamela Isley dated. Up to a little bit after she became Poison Ivy. Which um, is interesting. Now Alice sees a postcard addressed to Beth Kane. And she's like, wait, this isn't supposed to happen. And so she goes to Mary and is like, help. Uh, I, I'm having hallucinations. And Mary, forgetting her oath to do no harm, is just like, yeah, you deserve this. And, and then Alice finds out that Poison Ivy uh, nicked Mary. She takes the clipping, sends it to Renee, and gives it to Renee saying, this person, uh, Flamingo, is your villain. Uh, also, I found your girlfriend. <laughs> Right? And Ray's like, wait, holy crap, it shouldn't be dead unless someone's been infected. Ooh. Okay. Now, the dinner party! Ryan and Sophie show up. Sophie goes to investigate um, Jada's study. Jada catches her. Sort of. Uh, now, uh, Marcus crashes the party with a girl named Zoe. Ooh. Um, anyway, it turns out the chef is... Um, uh, psycho. He uh, puts a paralytic in their wine, and he goes up and kills Zoe. Uh, rest in peace. Um, I don't. I don't like characters being introduced and given a name as well, and then just being killed off like instantly. <laughs> I was hoping like, ooh, family psychology. Um, like ooh, this will be fun, kind of thing, right? Um. Yes, I know. I, I I know the guy with family with family issues up the ass should not be <laughs> should not be like ooh interesting family psychology. <laughs> but uh, yes, I I I see what's wrong with that. No one call me out in the comment section. Anyway, uh, so uh, the Mister Valentine dude or Valentino, I don't know. Anyway, he's charged trying to kill um the lovely ladies and Marcus. And they hole up in a panic room. Now, Marcus unfortunately starts going into, like, like, uh, it's something similar to, like, anaphylactic shock, almost. It's like, it's a, it's like a hybrid between going into shock from, like, when you get, like, stabbed and shit, to, um, uh, uh an allergic reaction, almost. It's like, it's weird, he starts, like, <gasps> Like, he starts, like, losing the ability to breathe, and his, like, blood pressure goes really low. So, Ryan goes down to the basement to get the camping gear, uh, with EpiPens. 
Now, unfortunately, she gets caught by uh, Professor Pig, and he takes her upstairs and is like, Jada, get your ass out here or I kill your daughter. Um, now, unfortunately, uh, they stall enough time uh, where Sophie drops the mother of all bombshells on uh, on Jada where that um, her company has been doing human experimentation. And she's like, what? No. Uh, uh, excuse me. No. Uh, now, this takes long enough for <sighs> Professor Pig to be like, okay, you know what? Your mom's a traitor. I'm going to murder you now. And she's like, Ryan is about to strike at Ryan. Jada comes out and is like, get away from my daughter. And it's just like, oh? Anyway, um, a fight ensues in which um, Ryan stabs herself with an EpiPen. Uh, you know, bu a bunch of EpiPens go flying. Sophie catches them uh, into herself and to Marcus. And I, I guess the last one, because there was three that fell, uh, goes into Jada. Now, uh, it, it eventually goes into Jada after it's done on uh, it's done off screen. Now, uh, the fight ensues. Boom, 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 and Marcus kills uh, kills Professor Pig. The police are called and whatnot. His body is taken away, and Ryan goes to speak with her mother and her mother then reveals that marcus is a sociopath and the reason why jada has been abandoned child uh, and all of this is simply to protect ryan because again marcus killed his dad sorry not again because marcus is a sociopath and she she actually did not know she admits i did not know i that about any of this human experimentation she did it to hopefully keep him on ice, to keep Marcus on ice long enough for them to be able to fix the the damage done by the Joker zapping him right in the noggin. Um, now she gives uh, Ryan a bunch of tapes, and in one of those tapes, Marcus kills his dad, who is the person that was cut out of the image that Sophie found in Data Study. And that everything she has done has been to keep Ryan safe. Now, this is interesting because it's like, oh, she's not a grade A. Which with a B, uh, she's actually like a good parent, even if her methods of being a good parent can leave a lot left to be desired. Uh, to be fair, I would take Jada's actions in Batwoman up to now uh, over... Yeah, I, I need not say more. But yeah, that is the episode. We find out that Marcus is a fucking sociopath. Um, and it's just, oh dear. So, pseudo-redemption arc for Jada? Uh, in that she isn't actually a bad person. Just goes about things the wrong way. Because, to be fair, I'm pretty sure if Jada had been like, look, Ryan. Your brother's a fucking sociopath. You need to stay as far away from me <laughs> and him as possible for your own good. It probably would have gone a lot better than I'm going to destroy everything you hold dear if you come near me and my family. Like, you know, but hey, whatever. So I can't wait to see where this goes. Um, I'm actually terrified of where this goes, uh, but hey. Anyway, tell me what you guys thought of the video in the comment section of this episode down in the comment section down below. The Supergirl video did go up yesterday. Uh, it went up about 10 hours late. Uh, 9 to 10 hours late. About 9 and a half, actually. It's like 9-ish hours late. Uh, it, it was supposed to go up at like 5 or 6. Uh, it went up at like 2.30. Uh, because copyright, uh, copyright claim that I had to... Um, I had to dispute before the video could go up. But yeah, it's up. Uh, hour, 31 minutes, and 14 seconds, according to YouTube Studio. Anyway, tell me what you guys thought of the episode down in the comment section down below. That's going to be for this video. If you guys haven't already, hit like, hit subscribe if you're new. I will see you guys next time. And as always, stay bright.